So one thing that happens when you change your theme, okay, is that some of the information might be placed in a in an area that is not suitable. For example, when we change to the Wisp uh, theme, you can see the conclusion is not located in an area where you normally put it, okay. So I think you can just uh, adjust this one. This is not part of the instructions. But I don't think they'll penalize you for doing this, okay? And then leave it like this before moving on to the next instruction, okay? So the next instruction, which is instruction number 10, uh, it says we need to insert a header and footer on all slides and include the date and time updated automatically and the page number and a footer with your student number okay so after doing this we are basically done other than saving our document okay so let's go back to our working document i uh, click on insert it told you you need to insert header and footer uh here you'll see you've got slides you've got notes and hand handouts uh, they told us that we need to include on the slide itself okay so select this one by clicking on it date and time then click on automatic updated automatically and then after doing that you must also include uh, the slide number they did not say slide number they said page number but uh, that's what they meant okay they said uh, where is it page number in this case is slide number okay and then your footer with your student number okay so after doing that uh, you must check footer and then start typing your student number okay so as you know my student number it's uh, 2024 2024 okay and then you apply to all slides okay so if you don't want this to show on your uh, title slide you can click here but in this case they said we need to apply it to all slides okay so it means it will appear on your title page okay as you can see here uh, my student number is here uh, this is page 5 you go to page 4 you'll see my student number you go to the initial slide you'll see my student number and the date is uh, updated automatically so if I open this document tomorrow the date will not be the 17th but it will be the 18th okay so after doing all this this is what your assignment uh, will look like okay this is your first page second page third page uh, fourth page uh, fifth page uh, what you can do in terms of this one here you see uh, after changing the the, the theme uh, this information got moved to the right and stuff okay uh, that is none of your problems but you can actually adjust this if you want your work to look good okay I don't think they'll penalize you for that uh, you can move this uh, or you can move this to to align with uh, okay let's say you want to do it like this yeah but they won't penalize you even if you, you you did not do that okay because you followed instructions okay so you might have something like this uh, in this case it looks much better okay so this is going to be your final output okay it looks it looks good you can actually use this uh, uh, in your presentation okay and then you save this information so after saving this the next instructions uh, tells you that you need to save the file as your say name uh, then is it dash uh, student number for example msueli 
uh, dash or minus zero three two one and close it and then upload for grading okay